So the Yeezy Zebras released today, they restocked, there was tons of pairs apparently, and of course, I slept in. of you guys doing today it is a disgusting cloudy wet and rainy day in Winnipeg which I feel yeah it's, it's been like this for the past five days you guys know how I feel about rain I am NOT a fan but as I said I struck out on the zebras but the really crazy thing with them is that right now they're only going for like $550 and I would expect the price to drop another $50 once people actually get their pairs in hand that they were able to buy online so that's crazy they used to be $1,500 now they're around 550 might even go down to 500 that is amazing. I was unable to get them on release day today though, so there's a little bit of a consolation prize that I want to go pick up. Don't worry, I will be getting the zebras within the next four or five days. I promised you guys I was going to be doing that, so I will be picking them up. But there's another pair of shoes I want to get today since I wasn't able to get a pair of shoes. You guys know what I'm saying. It's a sick pair of shoes. I'm really excited to pick these up. We're literally at the mall right now. Let's go get these. Ooh. Guys, look at these. Remember when Vapor Maxes were hyped up and everyone thought they were the coolest thing on earth? Now they're just sitting at Champ Sports. These look pretty cool, to be fair. Oh my goodness, $255? Do you know what I could buy for $255? Not this, that's for sure. They're nice, but I, well, I say they're nice, they're ugly. But it's a nice colorway of an ugly shoe. I didn't come for these, but these are these are really, really tempting. I know I talked a lot of crap about these before and said so they look like fake Jordans. Trust me, I still stand by my opinion, but this is just a clean white, black, and blue shoe that you could like beat up and they're supposed to be 255 Canadian. They're, that's like 140, 244 dollars American. That's a, that's a really good price for these. It's a, it, leather's not too bad, the colorway's not too bad. I don't know, just something about it. Not my thing. This is the first time I've seen this particular colorway, the KD-10. These things are amazing. Wow. Look at the suede on the back, that crazy looking swoosh that looks like a peacock or something. And it's like this arctic blue, like sort of snowy, icy blue, clear bo This is a sick pair of sneakers. As I said, very quick stop at the mall. We got the sneakers and we also got nice little you guys know what I buy at Urban Outfitters, you guys already know. Oh, it's really raining now, is it? This is terrible. Why is it raining? Where did I park? I really hate rain, if you guys haven't noticed. Let's find the car. I'll show you this. I'll show you this. These are both sick. I wanted this for a long time, and then I just sort of impulse bought another Champion hoodie. Came to the mall and just blew $320, just like that. Alright, let's show you this hoodie first. This is actually really, really sick. I'm a big fan of Champion hoodies. As you guys know, I wear them pretty much every day. My thing with them, I don't even, I wasn't aware that they were hyped when I started buying them. I just saw Eddie Win Kicks do a couple videos with them. I'm like, hey, that's a sick basic hoodie. I'm a fan of basic clothing. And this one, oh my goodness, it is all red. It's the one with the sleeve design. I have a black one and a bright orange one with the same design. I think this is like my eighth or ninth champion hoodie. For you guys that ask where I buy them, I buy literally all of them at Urban Outfitters. They're sort of expensive, like this is $64 US or $74 Canadian. This is actually sick. There's a pair of shoes that I was planning on wearing later today. I'm actually definitely gonna have to wear this with a pair of shoes because it is like a perfect match. Now the shoes on the other hand, I knew I was gonna get these. Um, I had been waiting a long time to get these ones and I got them for a tiny tad cheaper than they actually cost. Actually, you know, this is a sick pair of shoes. This deserves a look in the studio. All right, we are back in the sneaker room. Check out how nice this hoodie is and check out how well it goes. Are you kidding? Black, red, and silver. Black, red, and si Oh my goodness, I'm going to a sneaker event later today on Saturday, so I'll definitely be wearing this. You guys will be seeing that in tomorrow's video. Bang, that is perfect. These haven't released yet so I can stunt on people at the sneaker event and whatever, but anyway, you guys wanna see the shoes that I got? They are right here. Now this is a pair of shoes that, you know, they're not like crazy hyped up or anything, except I think they're one of the best Nike basketball releases in the past couple of years, without a doubt. Let me know if you guys got the zebras as well. I really wanna hear, but you guys can see the box right here. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. This is the Nike KD9, but not just any, it's the KD9 Elite. It's looking real nice on your feet. 
these are really nice as well. These these two pairs of shoes right here, I have this one out because these are my two favorite Nike basketball sneakers that have released in the past probably two years. Like, can I, sorry to waste your time, but let's just look at this stuff. Oh my goodness, look at these sneakers. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Nike, how nice is this? Why aren't you releasing stuff like this anymore? You're just giving us crap now. Come on, step your game up. But this right here is very, very, first off, why is the box so big? The box is the size of a small child. The box doesn't need to be that big. I don't have space for this box in my room. Whew. Oh my goodness. Look at how nice these are. Look at how nice this pair of sneakers is. Let's get this guy out of here. Look at that this is a beautiful looking pair of kicks this is the nike kd9 elite black and gold or gold medal pack or champ pack or whatever these two sort of go hand in hand they're like polar opposites of each other this one's black and gold this one's white and gold which one do you guys like better let me know down in the comment section below which one is more dumb lit are the soldiers dumb lit is the Nike KD9 Dumblet? Let me know down in the comment section below. But this one right here, I, I just think this is a beautiful pair of sneakers. As soon as I saw this, I wasn't really following the release dates or the schedule or whatever, because I honestly don't care about Nike basketball enough to spend time looking at the release dates. So I just walked into Foot Locker randomly one day and I saw these and I didn't know if they were a special edition or not, or if they were like limited or if they were gonna sell out. Cause this looks like something that would be a special edition if you guys ask me, but it turns out they were just a regular Nike KD9 Elite release, and the KD10 looks amazing, don't get me wrong. Except I think the KD9 Elite just looks a tiny bit nicer, like the KD9 is like a 10, and the KD10 is like a nine and a half. You know, like they're both really, really nice. This one just looks a little bit nicer. And definitely my favorite Nike basketball silhouette that they've released in the past two, two and a half years once again. They're just not doing creative stuff. They're not, well, they're, they're doing creative stuff, it's just not a good kind of creative. Like, I don't really like what they're putting out, but I love this. You guys know how I feel about gold. You guys know how I feel about basketball. And I'm actually a KD fan still. Yes, I know. Roast me in the comment section. Am I a Warriors fan? No. Do I cheer for the Warriors? No. Do I enjoy watching the Warriors? 100% yes. I don't understand why people are mad at the Warriors. Like, they didn't set up the NBA the way it's set up. Like, it encourages superstars to join forces. That's how you win. That's how you've always won. The only difference is that Kevin Durant went to a team that was already good when he's in his prime. Like, Karl Malone went to a stack team, except he was old. Uh, Peyton went to a stack team, except he was old. And Kevin Durant did it in his prime. I don't think you can really hate him for that. It's such a fun basketball team to watch. And it's, it's just, they seem like all good guys. Draymond Green's a little bit crazy, but I think he's a good guy. They're fun to watch. They're a fun team. I don't get why everyone hates on them. Like, why are they the villains of the NBA? A whole bunch of skinny dudes that are laughing and smiling and shooting threes are the villains, while LeBron growling at people and J.R. Smith swearing at people are like the, the good guys of the NBA. I, I don't understand that. In my wildest dreams, I don't know how that makes sense. Anyway, we're, we're talking about the shoes. We're not talking about basketball. The NBA draft was pretty crazy though. This though is really crazy as well. I just, I love that gradient of the gold right there. You got the full length air unit, so you know they're going to be very comfortable. This is gonna be a shoe that I will definitely be playing basketball in. I don't really think you could pull these off casually if you ask me, like maybe you could find a way to do it, but for me, this is solely a basketball pair of sneakers. I have a lot of basketball sneakers, like I just bought these, I have uh, I have the Soldier 10s that are still good, I have the Dero 6s that are still good, I have a pair of Dero 3.5s that I could probably still play in. Like I have a lot of basketball shoes, but in my mind you can never have enough pairs of basketball shoes. These are definitely one that is going to be worn a lot in my collection. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comment section below and we are getting really close to 180,000 subscribers so I just wanted to give you guys a reminder that when we do hit 180,000 I'm going to be giving away a pair of what the LeBron 11s to someone that follows me on Instagram and Twitter so if you guys are interested in doing that if you don't have Twitter I'll let it slide but definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram I do post a lot of sick content definitely going to be posting some pictures with these today but anyway I hope you guys have a great rest of your day also, just make sure you let me know what you think of these. Am I wasting my money on these? Because I, I sort of went to the mall, spent $350 between this two. It was a little bit of a spending spree, but I think it's well worth it. This hoodie is a... How, how amazing is this hoodie? These jeans are terrible, I know. These are my lazy day jeans. But this hoodie is freaking 
amazing. It looks amazing. These shoes look amazing. I, I think they're both well worth the money. I got these for a little bit under retail. They retail for 150 US, 200 Canadian, which I think is a very fair price considering that like a pair of Jordan retros is 255. These are 190 and they're like the takedown model for LeBron. This is the main elite model for Kevin Durant and I got them for under retail which is good. I'm very excited to have these in my collection. Very excited to play some basketball in them. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.